In this video, we'll show you how to use Cases with Capsule. With Cases, you can manage your team's deliverables and centralize information in one place. There's a whole variety of ways in which Cases can be implemented with Capsule. Let's take a look at some of the benefits of using this versatile feature. Cases are highly customizable and can be adapted in different ways to suit your processes and workflow within Capsule. We often find they work most effectively when used to help manage different service levels. This can vary from managing and delivering your projects, tracking customer queries, or ensuring that any pre or post sales work is clearly tracked and organized in the system. Another common use for cases is to help manage onboarding new customers after converting a sale. A case will help to stay on top of this journey and provide a clear overview of my relationship with the customer from beginning to end. Here you can see I've added some tags to help break down the different service areas in which cases have been adapted on the account. Cases can be tailored to your business needs via tags, data tags, and custom fields. You can also add tracks to your cases to help streamline your process and keep users following a linear set of steps which will make sure important tasks are not overlooked. Adopting these features will help you build cases to the requirements of the process in which you or your team follow. If we would like to create a new case, all we have to do is click here on Add Case. When creating a case, it has to be linked to one primary contact, which can be either an organization or a person. You can add extra contacts to the case so you have a clear list of everyone involved if it is relating to a project. Start by giving the case a name to help establish what it is for and a description if you would like to add some additional detail. For this example, I'm going to create a case to help me manage the customer onboarding for a new client. You can also add the relevant tag or data tags to a case. For this example, we can keep it simple and use an onboarding tag this will help us filter our search when we have a lot of cases over time. Let's now add a track. Here you can see I've already created a customer onboarding track within my account. A track is a series of tasks related to the case to be completed in a specific order. This will save you precious time in the long run. Tracks are really helpful if you always follow the same process for the different workflows that you have. All the tasks that you need to complete for the case will be added with just a couple of clicks. We will be able to see them once we save the case. Don't worry if you haven't had a chance to see what our tags and tracks can do to help you. Both of these areas are covered separately in our video library. Custom fields can be added to your cases too, helping you to capture and easily view specific information that is important to your business. For example, you may want to record customer-specific details or information relating to internal processes, such as the priority rating of a project. Here you can see some custom fields that we've already created. For an overview on custom fields, please also make sure to check out our dedicated video on this area. Once I'm happy with all the details I've entered, I click Save and I've now added a new case. Once created, the case will appear with an open status, like so. We can now clearly see the track that we have applied to our case, providing us with the tasks that we need to action, along with the relevant dates for completion. We can also log activity within our case, such as a phone call or a note that may be relevant. Here I can also add additional tasks that may need actioning outside of our track. I can also now attach any documentation that may be relevant, such as a contract or any details relating to a project which may need to be referred to at a later stage. Although the example here is for customer onboarding, cases are highly adaptable and can be used in a variety of different ways, such as an area for managing events, projects, or your marketing activities. As you can see here, the case itself will provide us with clear visibility on what work has been done and what future activity still needs to be actioned, helping me stay on top of the customer relationship along with the service that I'm providing. A handy feature is that all cases have their own individual Dropbox address located here on the Actions menu. You can also use the Copy button 
located here next to Log Activity to help action this. With this, you can BCC this Dropbox address on any email you send relating to the case, and it'll be stored within the case itself, giving a clear overview of the activity that is being logged for the work completed. Want to link existing notes or emails to a case that you have created? No problem. Simply find the note or email on the contacts history, use the Actions menu next to the date stamp, and then use the option to edit. Click on the drop-down list Link To, located here in the bottom right corner. Select the case and then Save. Capsule will now mirror this note from the contact history to the case history. This is a really good way to centralize ongoing projects that you may have underway. We often find that cases are used for managing post-sale activity. You can create a link between a case and the relevant opportunity to help you track the entire process of new business from start to finish. There are two ways in which you can action this. If I have already created the case, I can click here on the Actions menu, click Link Opportunity, and then enter the opportunity name and click on here to link. The opportunity details can now be seen in the left-hand side of the case view. You can also action this directly from the sales opportunity. Simply navigate to the relevant opportunity, click on the Actions menu, and then add a linked case. I can now create a new case from within the sale. The second way can be really useful for when you've won a sale, as you can quickly create this linked case and start delivering the required steps quickly, ensuring that you don't miss a beat. Don't worry if any details change for your case at a later stage. The case can be edited at any time by clicking here on the Edit button. When your case has been completed, you can use the Closed Case button from the Actions menu. A closed case will be removed from the open list. However, using filters on the Cases page, you can look back at any of your closed cases. This can be really useful for having a look back at completed work. We have a number of standard closed case lists in place already. However, you can create your own list for open or closed cases based on any filters that you may want to apply. When you've applied the relevant filters, you can save your list by clicking here on Save List As. This is a really great way to group cases into different categories. Tags can be a really great way to help group these cases. Here you can see I've applied tags based on what is being managed on each case. You can run all sorts of manual reports to help provide greater visibility on areas such as custom fields, close rates, and even on the last updates made within your cases. Our filter options provide you with endless ways to help organize your case records. If you're wondering what the differences are between a sales opportunity and a case, while sales opportunities should have a monetary value, that's not something that you need with cases. Another difference is that opportunities have a range of milestones. Cases have a status that's either open or closed. Think of a case as a deliverable, which should have a clear start and end point that you can monitor. Cases are a really versatile feature that can help ensure all your work is tracked and managed within the CRM. It's important to have a think about what work you may need actioned outside of the pipeline, as consolidating this all into Capsule will help keep you organized and ensure that nothing gets missed. That, in a nutshell, is how cases can be used to manage different projects customer onboarding, and different service workflows. Cases work great alongside opportunities to manage the sales process, but also have a much broader business use. And with features such as custom fields and tags, they can be adapted in a whole host of ways to suit your business needs. If you need any more advice on the topics covered in this video, please head over to our support pages for more articles relating to Capsule, or to contact our friendly support team, and we'll gladly help you out.